Russian police carrying struggling opposition leader Alexei Navalny at a demonstration against President Vladimir Putin in Moscow. Thousands of demonstrators denouncing Putin's upcoming inauguration into a fourth term gathered in the capital's Pushkin Square. AP Chinese President Xi Jinping speaks at an event to mark Karl Marx's 200th birthday at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing. AP President Vladimir Putin meets with FIFA President Johnny Infantino in Sochi, ahead of the 2018 World Cup in Russia. AFP, Getty supporters of opposition lawmaker Nikol Pashinyan protest in Republic Square in Yerevan, Armenia. Pashinyan has urged his supporters to block roads, railway stations and airports after the governing Republican Party voted against his election as Prime Minister. AP Cubans marched during the May Day rally at Revolution Square in Havana. AFP, Getty the sky is the limit, a Saudi man and woman fly over the Arabian Sarawich Mountains in the first ever joint wingsuit flight in traditional dress. A symbolic leap of faith towards women's empowerment in Saudi Arabia. Al Walid Philanthropies a general view for the damaged railway station in Al Qadam neighborhood, after it was recaptured from Islamic State militants, in the south of Damascus. According to media reports, the Syrian army continued the military offensive it has launched earlier this month against militant groups entrenching in southern Damascus and captured several neighborhoods, including al qadam and al-Asali and targeting the remnants of armed groups in al-Hajar al-Aswad and its surrounding in Damascus southern countryside. EPA comedian Michelle Wolf attends the celebration after the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Conservatives walked out after Wolf brutally ridiculed President Donald Trump and his aides during her piece. Getty North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and South Korean President Moon Jae-in raised their hands after signing on a joint statement North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, left, and South Korean President Moon Jae-in raised their hands after signing on a joint statement at the border village of Panmunjom in the demilitarized zone, South Korea. The Korean War will be formally declared over after 65 years, the North and South have said. At a historic summit between leaders Kim Jong-un and Moon Jae-in, the neighboring countries agreed they would work towards peace on the peninsula with a formal end to the conflict set to be announced later this year. The pair agreed to bring the two countries together and establish a peace zone on the contested border. Korea summit press pool via AP women hold portraits of their relatives, who were victims of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, during a commemoration ceremony in Kiev, Ukraine. Reuters Rohingya refugees gather in the no-man's land behind Myanmar's border lined with barbed wire fences in Mangda district, Rakhine state bounded by Bangladesh. Myanmar government said on April 15, it repatriated on April 14 the first family of Rohingya out of some 700,000 refugees who have fled a brutal military campaign, a move slammed by a rights group as a PR stunt ignoring UN warnings that a safe return is not yet possible. AFP, Getty President Donald Trump, French President Emmanuel Macron, First Lady Melania Trump and Bridget Macron hold hands on the White House balcony during a state arrival ceremony in Washington. APA boy walks on a pile of garbage covering a drain in New Delhi. Reuters newly ordained priests lie on the floor as Pope Francis leads a mass in St. Peter's Basilica, the Vatican. Reuters South Koreans cheer during the welcoming event for the inter-Korean summit between South Korea and North Korea in Seoul. The Inter-Korean Summit is scheduled on April 27, 2018 at the Joint Security Area in Panmunjom, agreed by South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. Getty A Palestinian slings a shot by burning tires on the Israel-Gaza border, following a demonstration calling for the right to return. Palestinian refugees either fled or were expelled from what is now the State of Israel during the 1948 war. AFP, Getty outgoing Cuban President Raul Castro raising the arm of Cuba's new President Miguel Diaz-Canel after he was formally named by the National Assembly, in Havana. A historic handover ending six decades of rule by the Castro brothers. The 57-year-old Diaz-Canel, who was the only candidate for the presidency, was elected to a five-year term with 603 out of 604 possible votes in the National Assembly. AFP slash Getty slash www.cubadebate.cu Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan announces early presidential and parliamentary elections for June 24, 2018, at the Presidential Palace, in Ankara. Erdogan announced the snap elections, originally scheduled for November 2019, in a move that will usher in a new political system increasing the powers of the president. He said the new system needed to be implemented quickly in order to deal with a slew of challenges ahead, including Turkey's fight against Kurdish insurgents in Syria and Iraq.
AP European lawmakers raise placards reading, Stop the war in Syria, in protest against airstrikes launched by the US, Britain and France in Syria last week criticizing the legitimacy of the operation, as French President Emmanuel Macron delivers his speech at the European Parliament in Strasbourg. Macron is expected to outline his vision for the future of Europe to push for deep reforms of the 19-nation Eurozone and will launch a drive to seek European citizens' opinions on the European Union's future. AP people participate in a protest against the rape of an 8-year-old girl in Kathwe near Jammu, and a teenager in Unnao, Uttar Pradesh state, in Bangalore, India Reuters fireworks are set off as the final performance takes place during the closing ceremony for the 2018 Commonwealth Games. PA The wreckage of the Scientific Studies and Research Center compound in the Barza district, north of Damascus, after the United States, UK and France launched strikes against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's regime early on April 14 in response to an alleged chemical weapons attack after mulling military action for nearly a week. Syrian state news agency SANA reported several missiles hit a research center in Barza, north of Damascus, destroying a building that included scientific labs and a training center AFP, Getty Indian activists gathered to show support for the chairperson of the Delhi Commission for Women Swati Maliwal, who is on a hunger strike against the alleged rapes in Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, in New Delhi, India. According to news reports Maliwal is sitting on hunger strike demanding that authorities take strict actions against the alleged rapists. EPA Shiite pilgrims carry a symbolic casket outside Imam Musa al Qadim's shrine to mark the anniversary of his death in Baghdad. Iraq Reuters seasonal winds wash tons of debris ashore at Matahari Turbit Beach near Sanur, Bali, Indonesia. Reuters Syrian onlookers gather around rescue teams clearing the rubble at the site of an explosion of unknown origin which wrecked a multi-story building the previous night in the war-battered country's northwestern city of Idlib. The cause of the explosion in the jihadist-held city, which killed more than a 10 people and wounded 80, according to the Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights Monitoring Group, was not immediately clear. AFP, Getty protesters try to block French gendarmes during an evacuation operation in the Zone Z, Deferred Development Zone, in Notre Dame des Landes, near Nantes, France. Reuters competitors cross the start line at the annual Pyongyang Marathon. AFP, Getty the body of journalist Yasser Murtaha, 31, is carried during his funeral in Gaza City. He was shot by Israeli troops while reporting on Palestinian protests on the Gaza-Israel border. Twitter supporters of the former South African President Jacob Zuma rally prior to his appearance in the KwaZulu-Natal High Court on corruption charges in Durban. Zuma, 75, arrived to face corruption charges linked to a multi-billion dollar 1990s arms deal. The graft case against him was postponed until June 8 after a brief 15-minute hearing. AFP, Getty Palestinian protesters run during clashes with Israeli troops at Israel-Gaza border. Reuters presidents Hassan Rouhani of Iran, Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey and Vladimir Putin of Russia posed before their meeting in Ankara. Reuters South African school children pause next to a portrait of the late South African anti-apartheid campaigner Winnie Madokazela Mandela, wife of African National Congress leader Nelson Mandela, at her house in Soweto. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa paid tribute to Winnie, who died on April 2, saying that Nelson Mandela's former wife was a voice of defiance against white minority rule. AFP, Getty Jewish priests and civilians take part in the Kahanan prayer during the Passover holiday at the Western Wall in the Old City of Jerusalem. AFP, Getty Pope Francis greets the crowd at St. Peter's Square after the Easter Sunday Mass in the Vatican. Christians around the world are marking the Holy Week, commemorating the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, leading up to his resurrection on Easter. AFP, Getty mourners hold back a relative of Palestinian Hamdan Abu Amshah, who was killed along the Israel border with Gaza, during his funeral in Beit Hanan town. Reuters Israeli soldiers shot tear gas grenades towards the Palestinian tent city protest commemorating Lamb Day. The day marks the killing of six Arab Israelis during 1976 demonstrations against Israeli confiscations of Arab land. AFP, Getty and emotional Steve Smith is comforted by his father Peter as he fronts the media at Sydney International Airport. Steve Smith, David Warner and Cameron Bancroft were flown back to Australia following investigations into alleged ball tampering in South Africa. Getty French gendarmes escort the coffin of the late Lieutenant Colonel Arnaud Beltrame transported by car during a funeral procession, leaving the Pantheon as part of a national tribute in Paris. The French president will lead a national commemoration to hostage swap policeman Arnaud Beltrame killed in jihadist attack.
AFP, Getty Russian President, Vladimir Putin visits a memorial made for the victims of a fire in a multi-story shopping center in the Siberian city of Kemerovo. Officials say that the fire escapes were blocked and a PA system was turned off during the fire that killed over 50 people. Kremlin pool photo via AP At least 64 shoppers have been killed in fire at a shopping center in Russia. A further 16 people were still missing after flames broke out at the four-story Winter Cherry Mall in the city of Kemerovo in Siberia, according to Russian Emergencies Minister Vladimir Puchkiv. The fire was extinguished in the morning after burning through the night. Parts of the building were still smoldering and the floors of the cinema hall had caved in in places, another emergency official said. Russian Emergencies Ministry via Reuters Syrian civilians gathering for their evacuation from the town of Arbin in the eastern Gata region on the outskirts of the capital Damascus, following a deal with the regime. The deal is expected to see some 7,000 people bust from Arbin and Zamalka towns and the district of Jobar to a rebel-dominated part of northern Syria. AFP, Getty students attend the March for Our Lives in Washington. In the wake of the Florida attack, there has been a widespread effort to ban assault rifle. Getty police at the scene of a hostage situation in a supermarket in Trebes. An armed man took hostages in a supermarket in southern France, killing three and injuring about a dozen others, police said. French minister confirmed the gunman had been shot dead by police. Reuters A boy rows his boat in the polluted waters of the Brahmaputra River on World Water Day in Guwahati, India. Reuters Kosovo's opposition lawmakers release a tear gas canister inside the country's parliament and before a vote for an agreement to ratify or not a border demarcation deal signed in 2015 with Montenegro. AFP, Getty people carrying luggage leave the Russian embassy in London and board a van bearing diplomatic plates. Dozens of people including adults with children arrived at the Russian embassy in the morning and then left carrying luggage and vehicles bearing diplomatic registration plates. Britain last week announced the expulsion of 23 Russian diplomats over the spy poisoning row, prompting a tit-for-tat response from Moscow. AFP, Getty the Soyuz MS-08 spacecraft is mounted on the launch pad at the Russian leased Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan AFP, Getty President Vladimir Putin walks out of a voting booth at a polling station during Russia's presidential election in Moscow. AFP, Getty people take part in a pensioner's protest to demand decent pensions in Barcelona. Thousands of people across the country took part in mass demonstrations called by Maine Spanish workers' unions demanding rises of state pensions in accordance with the Consumer Price Index AFP, Getty.